Hi guys, Mike Rue here. This is my video about maximizing your chimes on the arc. In this video, I'll give detailed chime rates and loads of different arc tips. So if you're struggling making chimes or just don't know the rates and things or what to do for the most chimes, then I'll talk about all of that in this video. I will also put some timestamps in the description so if you only want to know about the high tier resources or the low tier resources or what upgrades to get first to efficiently maximize your chimes etc that will all be in the description so if you wanted to skip to a specific part go ahead and click one of the times in the description if you need help starting the arc this video is about efficiently farming chimes so it's not actually about starting the arc. I have a previous video going into each skill on the arc and how to start it, what quests to do to get your flags, all of that good stuff. So if you want to know how to start the arc and why to start the arc, then I have a different guide on that. So if you want to watch the starting video, feel free to click the link on the screen. I'll put it in the description as well for people on mobile. But if you've already started the arc and you're just worried about getting your chimes now, then this is the video for you and you won't have to worry about the first one. Anyway, let's get into this video. What you want to do is do contracts as much as possible. Not only do contracts give tons of experience, they also give chimes. Doing these alongside your normal routine is going to increase your chimes and experience every day. If you don't want to be given combat assignments with your contracts, you can toggle the contract board behind Sir Jobo in Waiko. If you just click toggle on the contract board, as you can see it now says you will only receive contracts that send you to Uncharted Isles. So now if I right click and get a contract, it's given me mushrooms on Goshima, the islands that once were turtles, or Uncharted Isles. So if I was going to do my farming and get loads and loads of mushrooms, I will get an extra 10,000 experience and 150 chimes for doing this. It's so cheap to re-roll your first contract of the day, so it's worth doing that to get one that's really good. So if I re-roll this and I get craft shiny total shell bowls, and it gives me nearly 30,000 crafting experience and 150 chimes, I can easily get this one done. What you want to do is when you get things like this, don't actually craft your turtle shell bowls or make your bundles of bamboo or anything like that because when it gives you a task to make those, if you have them in the bank, you can just get some free giants and experience. So it's always good to craft your turtle shell bowls and things like that with a contract or just save them up until you get a contract and then that will maximize the chimes and the XP you can gain. So as for the low tier resource chime rates, I'm going to show the low end XP and chime rates without boosts and then when I'm talking about the high end XP and chime rates they're with boosts. So the boosts can be anything like potions, familiars, avatar, outfits etc. So for example if you're doing the salty crablets and you have the golden mining outfit, the gemstone golem outfit, a juju potion and a lava titan you're going to get really really good XP rates especially if you have like same world avatar and things like that. So that will be the high end rates but if you had none of that that's what the low end rate would be. You also got to remember that the gemstone outfit and the lava titan allow you to mine faster which would be higher chime rates as well. And most of them can be found off Uncharted Isles, so you don't have to go onto Uncharted Isles to find the low tier stuff. They're normally on named islands. Anyway, now that's out of the way, we can talk about some of the rates. First up is the Waiko Bamboo that requires 90 woodcutting. The hourly XP rate for the bamboo is 60 to 95,000. This would make the hourly chime rate 700 to 825 if you're bundling your bamboo. Salty Crablets that require 91 mining have an hourly XP rate of 98,000 to 135,000. The hourly chime rate will be 770 to 950. The Tortles require 90 Hunter. The hourly XP rate is between 260,000 to 290,000. And the hourly chime rate is between 880 to 910. The low tier Mushrooms that require 90 farming have an hourly XP rate of 28 to 32,000 which is by far the lowest but farming XP is very very low on the arc in general but the hourly chime rate is 700. The positive and negative energy at 90 divination have an hourly XP rate of 68 to 77,000. That's pretty good for 90 divination and it's a good alternative to having to stick on the desert anyway and the hourly chime rate of these is 660 to 710. The Waiko and Wowsmore fishing requires 91 or 92 fishing. The hourly XP rate for these is 70 to 115,000. 
The hourly chime rate is 650 to 900. So as you can see by this, I wouldn't really advise doing divination or farming if you're just going for chimes. When you can do things like salty crablets or fishing or hunter for much higher rates of chimes. If you only have one or two of the skills, then pick the skill you have that gives the highest amount of chimes to efficiently get your chime rate. If you can do every single one, you can make arc gumbo which gives you a bit more chimes. So the only time I would do the farming or divination is for arc gumbo. But in all honesty it's quite a lot of hassle. And you're probably going to be better off just doing the fishing or the mining or the hunter. As they give good XP as well. And all nearly a thousand chimes per hour. So for low tier resources getting nearly a thousand chimes per hour is actually really good. Let's move on to the high tier resources now. So as for the high tier resource chime rates, again the low end XP and chime rates are without boosts and then the high end XP and chime rates will be with the boosts like familiars etc. All of these resources can be found on uncharted isles so they can't be found on the name islands like the low tier but the high tier are so much better so they're worth paying the chimes to go onto your uncharted isles. First up the golden bamboo that requires 96 wood cutting gives an hourly XP rate of 130 to 177,000. The hourly chime rate is is 1000 to 1150. The Alea Crablets require 97 mining. The hourly XP rate is 150,000 to 220,000, which is really good for mining. This is how I got 120 mining, and it's super fast. The hourly chime rate is 1150 to 1410. Ornate Turtles at 96 Hunter have an hourly XP rate of 650 to 800,000. Again, super fast and it's how I got 120 Hunter. Hourly chime rate for these is 1,250 to 1,350. The mushroom clusters that require 94 farming have an hourly XP rate of 50 to 54,000. So it's nearly twice as good as the low tier farming but again it's still not very good experience. The hourly chime rate for these is 1,200. Ancestral Energy at 95 Divination has an hourly XP rate of 105 to 120,000. So it's actually really, really effective XP an hour for Divination and Super AFK at the same time. So this is a really great way to train Divination other than caches, etc. The hourly chime rate is 1,200 to 1,285. The Wobbegongs that require 96 fishing have an hourly XP rate of 135 to 220,000. So it's very comparable to waterfall fishing. And then obviously you're getting your chimes as well. But you're not getting your urchins so it's a little bit less XP an hour than waterfall fishing. The hourly chime rate for Wobbegongs is the highest. It's between 1,200 to 1,650. Like with the low tier resources, I would advise doing the best one that you have the level for. So say you have 97 mining, then go ahead and do the mining over 94 farming. But then if you had 96 fishing, that's the one you want to prioritize over everything because it gives the most chimes. If you have every single one of these stats, you're going to want to make shark soups as you profit a lot of chimes making a shark soup. This makes your chimes per hour the highest it can be and doing shark soups over time you're going to be getting around 1700 to 1800 chimes per hour so shark soups are the best but if you only have some of the stats prioritize your best one here what you should remember with the high tier skilling resources on the arc is that they give some of the best experience rates in the game for each skill so when you're getting such high experience rates you might as well go on the arc to get those experience rates and get chimes alongside them as the chimes can unlock so many useful items whether it be the hunter outfit the blueprint for crystal tool siphons the bone crusher upgrade fangs for the miserari all of that good stuff all add up to be really really good use of chimes so if you have those stats and you want to get them to 99 i'd advise doing it on the arc anyway so why make those shark soups shark soups profit a big amount of chimes so if you have a look at the item and the base values the total cost for the 5 items needed to make a shark soup costs 53 chimes. But a shark soup sells for 85 chimes. This means that you're profiting 32 chimes every time you make a shark soup. Profiting 32 chimes means you profit 60% more chimes from your resources. So if you can do hunter, woodcutting, farming, fishing and mining then i would always just keep doing those and making shark soups if you go on to uncharted isles and keep doing large junkets depleting every single resource on the large junket before you move on and doing your daily island etc 
you'll easily make some really good amounts of each resources which can go into shark soups. Doing every single skill you're not really losing out on much either because all of the XP rates are really good except for the farming but then again some extra farming experience never really hurt anyone. So if you have all of these stats I definitely advise making shark soups and I'd advise doing them on a portable range. So when cooking your wobbegong oil, make sure you do it on a portable range as it has a chance of making extra portions and sending them to your bank. As you can see in my chat, one of them propped. Also, your modified sous chef's pork allows you to make an extra portion of food and that extra portion of food has been sent to your bank as well. This means that the modified hat also has its prop chance work with wobbegongs. This makes the amount of wobbegong oil you can make and the amount of chimes you can make even higher. Also the same thing applies with shark soups, the modified sous chef's talk will also give you extra procs. As you can see in my chat it's procking, the portable range also has the proc chance on shark soups and can make two portions of food. Every time you're making an extra shark soup you're making 85 to 102 extra chimes. It's absolutely amazing just how many more chimes you can get by just using a portable range definitely use it whenever you can. Also if you don't have every single stat for shark soups you can make some of the resources with ancestral energy. So as you can see you can make 10 alaya sea salt from 10 normal sea salt and ancestral energy. So if you have 95 divination you can upgrade your things to higher tier resources with ancestral energy. You can also do the same with normal shell chippings and Silego into Wobbegongs. This is really useful if you don't have quite the high enough level for the high tier resources you can do the low tier and convert them into high tier. Also if you don't have the farming, fishing or hunter levels you can also make the high tier resources other ways. So sliced mushrooms you can make one sliced mushroom per two driftwood and two ancestral energy. This is probably the least worth it one but if you really really need sliced mushrooms it's a good go to. You can make wobbegong oil from alaya sea salt and ancestral energy. And you can also make turtle shell bowls from wobbegong oil and ancestral energy. So you can technically get wobbegong oil and turtle shell bowls just from being able to do the high tier mining. Because if you turn 20 sea salt into 10 wobbegong oil, you can then turn the 10 wobbegong oil into shiny turtle shell bowls if you need the turtle shell bowls really badly. This is just an extra little thing that stops some of the requirements for shark soups as you don't actually need the fishing and hunter level and you can do divination instead just a little added bonus lastly i just want to talk about what bonuses you should buy first so there are two key bonuses you want to buy to maximize your chime rates on the arc the first one is the sell price commodity increase this makes you get more chimes per item you sell to the store there are two tiers to this increase and each tier lets you sell items for 10 percent more this means that tier 2 shark soups will be increased by 20 percent which is huge they would sell for 85 chimes as a base value but instead they now sell for 102. When you're getting 18 extra chimes from your shark soups this sell price commodity increase is so valuable it's unreal. I've sold thousands and thousands of soups with this sell price commodity increase and I've gained so many extra chimes doing so. Definitely would advise getting this one as one of your first items. The second one I would highly advise is the supply cost reduction. There are five tiers. Each tier reduced the base supply cost by three chimes. The supply base cost is 25 chimes at the start, which is actually really, really expensive when you're going on voyages. You can reduce them by 15 chimes if you have tier five, and it would only cost 10 chimes per supply once you have it maxed out on tier five. So going down from 25 chimes per supply to 10 chimes per supply is absolutely insane. So small aisles are reduced by 15 chimes per tier, which gives you a maximum of 75 chimes saved per small voyages on tier five. Medium aisles are reduced by 36 chimes per tier, which is a maximum of 180 chimes saving on medium aisles at tier 5. And lastly, the huge savings and what you should be doing anyway is large aisles. Large aisles are always the best to farm all of your chimes on anyway, so these being reduced by 60 chimes each tier and a maximum of 300 chimes saved per large island if your tier 5 supply cost reduction 
is just silly. You normally profit a good amount per large aisle, but when you can save an extra 300 chimes every time you go to a large aisle, you're going to be profiting even more. These two bonuses are absolutely amazing for maximizing your chimes per hour. I would definitely advise getting these two things even before you look into buying any of your outfits or anything like that, just because of how much they speed things up. Thanks for watching everyone, give the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new for future content. I hope this video has helped you just get an in-depth look at the different chime rates and things like that. And hopefully you can make an easy decision on what you're going to do for fast chimes to get whatever you need on the arc. Feel free to join my friends chat in game micro if you fancy the chat. Goblin Slayers with a Z, the clan is open, all viewers are welcome and we're having our clan events. The Discord link will be in the description so if you fancy chatting on voice communications feel free to join the Discord. And the Twitter link is in the description as well. So if you want to see what I post on Twitter or just to get an extra notification when I make videos etc. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Thank you everyone for your amazing support so far and just how well this channel is progressing. I still can't believe it, it's amazing. And until next time, see ya.